Hey friends, it's Pastor Craig with your life for today. We've got the sanctuary here all dressed out and decked out ready for Christmas Eve. And uh, it just looks beautiful, but there is one thing noticeably missing, and that is you. Uh, missing all of you greatly, our church family this Christmas. Christmas is a time for families to gather and, and meet with each other. And uh, we're certainly the Brown family missing getting together with our extended family. Many of you too are making a brave choice and not gathering with your extended families to try to keep the coronavirus at bay. I admire that, um, but it is very challenging. And uh, while we're apart from each other, we're apart with a reason so that we can be together next year, hopefully with everyone uh, healthy and happy as, as much as can be. Um, we think about the Jesus in the manger as I'm preparing my children's sermon for Christmas Eve. I'm thinking about that same kind of dichotomy that uh, Christ went away with his, his family, uh, Mary and Joseph, just their small family unit, away from all others, uh, so that this miracle could happen, that God could come and be among us. And it happened for a purpose. They were uh, separated so that uh, God would unite us all, that Christ would come into the world, God itself, uh, Christ, uh, God incarnate, Emmanuel, God with us, so that God could be with us uh, today and forever basically cementing all people into God's family. Uh, so it was a reason that uh, Jesus and his, his parents were, you know, went away by themselves, not only away from the rest of their family, but away from society in the middle of nowhere in a, in a manger or a cave or wherever it was uh, to be born. And God had a purpose for that. Hopefully you, uh, sensing that purpose for your life, this uh, time away apart from each other uh, so that we can bind together and the miracle of Christ this Christmas. I'm Pastor Craig. This is your life for today. Merry Christmas.